Hi everybody, welcome back to yet another cooking video on our cooking show. <laughs> Always here with my mother Franca and on today's episode we are making the classic traditional delicious stracciatella. And we will show you just how simple it is to make coming up next on Love What You Eat. Stracciatella. Can you tell our viewers what that word means? Of course. Straccia means rice. Stracciatella means a shredded rice. So basically when we end up beating or whisking the eggs into the broth, it ends up pulling and pulling apart while it's cooking in the hot liquid and it ends up looking like long pieces of egg, shredded, shredded egg basically. So we're going to be showing you the very classic traditional version of this Soup. Recipe. Exactly, of this recipe. Um, so it consists of parsley, parmigiano, eggs, salt and pepper to taste, more, more so the salt to taste because the parmigiano is already salty on its own. And then we have some chicken broth. And you will see us make this very easily over stovetop. This is a dish that could come together within max. In less than 30 minutes. Yeah, exactly. I would even say 15, 15 or so. Um, and that's it. And then as you wish, if you want to go ahead and add some pastina to it or adapt or change some things, as always, this is the base and then go with really what your flavor profile likes if you want to adjust. Some add spinach. I mean, the, uh, there's so many options. Exactly. So we're going to be showing you the classic plain version and in our video description, you will always have the measurements with the ingredients that we, we are using. And we're going to take you stove top to basically show you how quick this was up. Ready? I'm ready. And yeah. So the uh, chicken broth is uh, boiling, we brought it up to a boil, and now it's time to prepare the uh, eggs. We're going to add in all the ingredients and I'm going to beat it. And it's very important that when you pour in the egg mixture into the uh, hot broth, that you have to pour it in very slowly and at the same time with the whisk, you pull it and go like back and forth to make long strands. And cross your fingers that it works, because sometimes it doesn't.
All right, so the dish is complete. Super simple to make. That little technique of going slowly and whisking back and forth just ensures that the bits of egg really come strands, like strands of egg instead of clumps. You don't want clumps omelets. Now, it could happen. Not to worry, it still tastes good, but low and slow pouring into some broth that has come to a boil is exactly the technique that you want to do. You can go ahead and substitute some of these things. We showed you the plain base classic. Mm -hmm. If you don't want parsley, you can add some spinach, escarole, etc. If you want to add some pastina to it, as you wish. Again, this is the plain simple one. This is the original recipe. Exactly. Have this all year round. This is also great when you're under the weather because my mother says this is the homemade. The Italian penicillin. Exactly. <laughs> Made with the chicken broth and eggs. Can't go wrong. Yeah. Serve with crackers or any dry biscuit type of um, bread. Bread or exactly. Or a nice panyota, slice of panyota. Enjoy. Give it a try from our house to yours, our kitchen to yours. Thanks again for watching and tuning in to our cooking show. And we will see you guys next Sunday for the next episode. Until then, continue to love, love what you eat. eat. Bye for now. Ciao, alla prossima.